in a unique attempt to try to understand what motivates gamers to play massively multiplayer online role-playing games, Nick Yi set up the Daedalus Project. Over five years, they interviewed 35,000 gamers, all playing the most popular MMOs of the time. And what they found was that 62% of the respondents said they were addicted on the grounds that they could play the games for up to 10 hours at a time. 20% of the younger players said that they had tried to quit these games and failed many times. When you consider that World of Warcraft has 12 million subscribers and that's just one of dozens of popular MMOs, it stands to reason that perhaps there are many, many people addicted to these games. So what is gamer addiction? Does it exist? Here in the UK, there are addiction centers that deal specifically with gamer addiction. There are many establishments in China that deal with gamer addiction and the same is true for many other countries around the world. We're not coming at this debate from a, ooh, games are scary and you shouldn't play them. We're just genuinely interested to find out more. What makes games so playable? So playable that you could play them for 10 hours straight. So playable that you could play them for days at a time. And in extreme cases, play them for so long that you die from exhaustion. If you're interested in this topic about why games are so incredibly playable, join us for a live debate on Thursday at 7 p.m. M. We'll be debating this very issue with a panel of YouTube bloggers and experts. So join us then, think up the questions you'd like to have answered now and we will be putting them to the panel. We'll see you on Thursday at 7pm.